so welcome. Right, I've jumped straight into the um, VR section of it, um, just because, well, just to show you what it's like. There's only one arena you can use, and it's this one. Uh, obviously you can practice your mode, uh, modes? What am I on about? You can practice your, uh, fighting skills. As you can see, mine are on form, because he's not moving. With the VR, um, when it does, uh, when you do push him quite far, uh, it is, um, what's the word? It, it does throw you behind them, so be weary of that. But for good practice, it's not too bad. Plus, obviously, as you can see, we've got a new character there, I do believe. Um, we still have most of the old characters, such as Paul, Law, um, uh, Lin Jayu, I think his name is, uh, the Pando. Kumo, um, plus some new ones. Uh, there's someone called Shazi, uh, Shaheen. Uh, what else? Let's kick in. Uh, but yeah, it's like uh, quite a good few ones. Uh, different to what we're used. To, um, well, it's different to what I'm used to. I'm done one of these mages. Let's make it a bit more fun. See if I may. Oh, dear. First turn on the button and he's already. Uh oh. Oh no. That's not a good start. Uh, that is. That's really bad. Oh. Oh yeah, I've slowed it down. Uh, with um, practice mode, you can slow it down uh, by using the left uh -oh. the L1 and to speed back up just press R1 uh, all the buttons are pretty much the same that square and triangle are uh -oh. square and triangle are pretty much uh, punches while X and circle are kicks uh, what else? Hmm. I find the story mode on this, um, because that's not in VR. Like I said, the only thing to, uh, the only things that are in VR are this practice mode and customization, which I will show you in a couple of seconds. Uh, just trying to, like. Tell you what you can really do. Uh, you can obviously look at the um, the gallery when you're doing the main mission and see all the different. I don't know, just different pictures, really. Uh, they've got the soundtracks from different uh, uh, games, right from the very first one, which I highly enjoyed. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Jeez. Any need? Yeah, back up. Okay, I, I sh probably should have kept it practice mode. To be fair, I find him quite hard to fight, but that's because I suck. But that's not the point. Uh, but I find him very difficult to fight with because when they chuck you in the story mode, because they make you play as the players doing the story mode, of course. Um, you find it difficult to adapt. Like, I like... Um, what do I like? I like Paul or King. King O'Brien, uh, who are one of my favourite too. Because you can get like a good combination of moves. But when they chuck you with him, you have no idea what his move sets are. Even though you can check him out in the start menu, it's still pretty difficult when you're just running into a mission but anyway uh, now that I've done enough getting uh, my head kicked in by this stupid demon purple stupid man uh, I will try and shoot oh, I will try and show you the customization side of it ok 
Okay, so if we just stop it there for a second, go down to the return to main menu. Right, now that we're on the customization scene, I've uh, cut out the bit of just going back to the main menu, but it's just a picture of Hayachi's face, which obviously you don't want to see. It's quite scary. Uh, this part isn't in VR at the moment, but I will show you um, what you can do in VR on this side. So go for Kuma at the moment. Like I said, you've got all your different players by here. So Elsa, Eddie, Eddie from the classics. Uh, you've got Yoshimitsu. Um, Lars is, uh, I think he came in midway, didn't he? Um, I don't know what they've done to Harang. He's got an eye patch now. Looks much cooler beforehand. Uh, like I said, Shaheen, um, you've got him there. His name was Akuma, the guy who was fighting. And get my head kicked in. Like I said, some of the new players like Lucky Chloe, uh, Leo, I think. I haven't seen him in the previous ones. Uh, Claudio, I like Bob. Um, but yeah, you've got Jin from the previous ones. Uh, Law, like I said, Eddie. Feng's coming in, uh, midway as well, I think. But yeah, it's, it's loads of new ones. So, like I said, let's customize Kuma for a second. Okay, so there, let's load up. <laughs> right. There's loads of customizations you can do on here. So like you can chuck glasses on him. Or I, I think I might need to get glasses for him to see. To match me then. Because I wear glasses myself. Right, so looks super cool. No, don't remove the items. So you can put armor on him. <laughs> oh my god. That was terrible. The eyes. The eyes. Anyway, um, Right, he can have a flag on his back. The different characters, of course, have different butterfly wings. Oh my god. Right, uh, like it, I forgot to mention as well. Sorry, I keep doing that so I can recenter. Um, you unlock them in treasure boxes, which you can do on online or offline. Um, but that's not in VR. Uh, like I said, just the practice mode or this, uh, what I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, obviously, I'll show you a bit more of the customizations. So you can have a <laughs> Halloween pattern. Um, when he's moving, I think you can like get different uh, auras. I think they are. Um, oh no, they hit effects. So when they hit them, different different ones. So sorry about that. Um, they're the auras. So you got all different ones. I think I'm ah oh, the rainbow is cool. I have to work towards that. Um, so different uh, mirroring effects. So prevents your opponent from moving once you are KO'd. Only when playing online, though. So do read them. But you can get uh, different uh, character panels. I think they're in the gallery. I, I think I need to keep that one. Okay, um, so yeah, for different ones, there's loads, but because we got the glasses on him, uh, I will show you what he's like in VR now. Let me just reset that. Okay. Are there different glasses? Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, if you just give me a second. So here is the uh, VR side of it. To get onto this is just press on the uh, left analog stick. So even with the small customization I just made, you can see he's got glasses. So um, you can take the head off to show you what you can do. So you can literally scroll up or scroll down or go around him. Uh, well, you can see the buttons there for yourself. So L2 zoom out, R2 zoom in. Animation is uh, just seeing him like. Yeah, that just left me speechless. I don't know what he just did there. <laughs> okay, um, so there we go. So you can see that they play animations. 
But yeah, when you've fully customised your person, you're going to do like an all-round screen, which is quite cool. Especially if they do such a funny animation, such as uh, the bear right here. Um, I can show you a different player. Um, so we'll see one who has more uh, features we can use. Okay. Okay, so we're back at the start of the character customization. Um, like I said, uh, this part is in VR, so who should we have? Uh, we want to have a bear this time. Let's try Eddie, because he's quite stylish. It was as being throughout the games with his kind of cool trousers or open shirt tops. See, there we go, leopard print and leather. See, you can have Santa. Uh, a crown. I unlocked that in the treasure um, the boxes, like I said. Uh, oh my god, he needs a panda. Different hairstyles. God, he looks terrible with grey. Leave him with brown. Different helmets, see? So you could have a medieval helmet, uh, a doctor helmet, uh, back in uh, times in Italy. Um, skull, Grim Reaper kind of thing. Or oh, just a deer. Um, Different things to have in his hair, I do believe. Is it in his hair? No? I can't see it. Let's try the lock. No? What's this? Yeah, it's hair accessories. It's like peacock feathers. Ah, oh, pony style, uh, pony. So he only has a small one, so maybe that won't work. Anyway, let's try the glasses. Even though you can rotate like this, uh, he won't do an animation, which we will get onto that. So you can have different shades uh, to make him look, obviously, how you want. Um, different masks, well, face paints even, which are pretty cool. See, that would be good for Brian, I reckon, because army and all. Um, different shirts and stuff like that. That's got stuff from Tekken 102. I see all different ones. Could have him like that if you really want to. Um, yeah, I gotta get that for him. Done and dusted there. Needed that in my life. Uh, what trousers would match that? Oh, let's actually put it on him. Come on now. Uh, we could have white trousers or green sh shorts. Uh, yeah, all different ones. So like combat ones or just normal straight ones or trousers that he did you mean them? No, I don't think he did. But anyway, I, I did like the white trousers with them. They look pretty cool. So karate buttons. Uh, you can have different things to go on their back, such as... Why do I keep my equipment? So, sledgehammers, or... Well, not a sledgehammer, per se. That's a sledgehammer. Um, tennis racket, pizza, fan, it, like the whole shebang. You can have it there on your hand. Um, so you can keep that on your side as well. So, at the back he's got an assault rifle. Or a black combat knife in his hand, or what the heck is that? Not really sure. But yeah, you can have cave on me. What was it? Bamboo shrine. There we go. Hit effect. We've got the auras again. Or you can just restore him to default. Um, you can keep any of them, which are completely up to you. I knew he had one of them won't buy any of them so you can see the hats so I, I think I covered that but anyway um, well let's show them in the, uh, the what's the word VR side of it so here we go here's Eddie in why well, just customized them as like I said all different ones so from aerial view to whatever he looks so cool in his armor um, right, so let's have a look at the animation. See, it's not as funny as Kuma. 
of the day. Quite disappointed in you, Eddie. Nasty. I am very disappointed in Eddie. I thought he'd be a bit more funnier than that. Like spinning around doing like break dancing moves. Not oh, disappointing. But anyway, that's what you can do on um, Tekken is in VR is the practice arena with any character if you want to just try try them out really um which is a good tool uh obviously you can like i did go into the start menu and change their um computer settings so then they start fighting back or you can just have a general mess around dress them with however you want and then play the animations 